Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are gonna go and talk to Sam. What you got there? Hey, what if he ain't a gummy block? Was this one for you? Kidding me? You're flying a gummy ship and you don't know nothing about the navigation gummies? Why is he Bunch the kid from heads. Secret of Evermore? <laughs> is, is that what happens? No way, bro. Is that what happens when the kid from Secret of Evermore grows up <laughs> yes. and turns into Sid? There's a lot we don't know, so what? We have to use the gummy ship to go to other worlds. We don't have a choice. Whoa! Easy! Whoa, easy. I didn't know. Yeah. No hot feelings, Joy! Well, I guess I can then you all ahead. Basically, navigation gummies get you to new places. You want one on your ship, right? Yeah, yeah. sure. I'll install for you, but I have this thing I gotta go deliver first. Get this boot. Really old guy, the guy who brought in you to fall apart to be able to stir this thing. Alright, this is your perfect. Anyway, you deliver this old house. Oh no! Uh What was that? Oh, the bell, I think it's more sharp. It's ribbing. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Go back and deliver the book if you did something. Get out of here! Oh. Fuck off, ghost! Stop by the house in the third district. Yeah. So. That's the abandoned house. So we go to the we, abandoned house. But it also sounds like we can now do the, uh, the BLs. Sonsis? The BLs. The Beelzebub. Why would we want to go do Beelzebub? Because yeah, that's a bad thing to do. No, maybe haven't he's you, sexy. Maybe she's sexy. Haven't you ever seen um, End of the World? No. That, that really, really interesting movie with uh, James Franco. Was it actually interesting? Uh, I use interesting as a way to not sound. Yeah. Yeah. Just it like was. I like to say that certain things are very unique. Or it's, it's different. This is not necessarily what I would have done, but I'm glad that they at least attempted it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Just gotta, you gotta find those like really good words. Good words. Good words. Good words. Um, but yeah, I forget who it was, but somebody in that movie. Uh, oh, wait, did it make a weird noise? Uh, it's the... No, hit it again. I think it made a different noise. Yeah, it's making a different noise than it did before. I don't remember now. It should be, should be a bell on top of this one. Mm hmm So we got to get up there somehow. Mm hmm Oh, look. Donald's almost dead again. Yep. What a shock. What a shorker. Fresh yard. Fresh yard. But, uh, so we were talking about, like, uh, how this game is one of those very few games that are, like, all about, like, or oddly enough, sometimes it's, like, the aesthetic really matters over the, uh, stats of a item. Yeah. And so I mentioned something called Fashion Souls. Which Steve has never heard of, which is apparently a term that goes with demon souls and dark souls, mm -hmm. where apparently people care more about the aesthetic value of the armor and weapons that they're using over like the actual stats. Right. And so, like, I have a friend who is hardcore a fashion souls player and a fashion hunter over a monster hunter. Nice. Okay. Yeah, like, apparently it's just, like, a huge thing in the community where, like, you go and you do fashion hunting or fashion souls, and, like, you just make your character freaking beautiful beyond belief. I mean, I can, I can, I can see that. that oh, no, I, I'm, I'm right there with you. I totally... It's a very small place. Yeah. You have right. this big guy. Yeah. Uh, I'm totally d down with that. Like, I, I totally like the idea of, uh, like... There is something to be said about, like, playing a game for the, like, dolly dress-up aspect of it all. Right, yeah. Because, I will not lie, I have spent many... an hour just, like, going through different art assets on, like, WoW. Right, and, yeah, like, I mean, like, think about WoW and, like, how much uh, people use, like, transmog and stuff like that. 
Yes. Uh, I've, I've spent way too long on that trying to make the most clown shoes ugly character build I can possible, possibly I, think of. I did really enjoy that you did that to, like, mess with Jax. <laughs> And that, but it wasn't even just like you just had one. It was like every week, every raid, you had a different like clown shoes. Like you actually really put effort into looking as crazy weird as possible. I really, really worked hard at that just to to just to trigger him. Yeah, I I appreciate that. I I thank you. Really do. Thank you. I I don't get why it upset him so much. Like I don't I don't get why it meant so much to him but apparently it does i don't think it upset him as much as he let it on sound of course but I, I think he's just an overreactor yeah but it was fun mm -hmm. there's there's definitely some fun in there probably really like if you think about it for both right yeah. he, he had fun being a quote-unquote being angry about it yeah like it, it, it's just fun for everybody and it, it's always like a good morale thing for everybody to just like be able to mess around like that because I'm not gonna deny the fact Maybe that raiding, doing here, raiding can often be uh, <clears throat> a little bit draining. It can be. I mean, especially when you're progressing, right? Because then it's like, oh, we're yeah. doing we're, we're doing the same fight over and over and over again, and sometimes it's like, and there's definitely times where it's like we're not even gaining traction, like we're actually losing traction. Yeah, and I think I think the biggest like frustrating <laughs> point, in my opinion, for when it comes to raiding is when you're when you go through a, a raid or a, you go through a, like an entire session of playing and you don't get anything oh yeah that's the worst too when it's like oh this we're not only are we taking forever like is this boss just really difficult yeah but then sometimes you're like i don't even get a piece of gear from it. yeah and like you you sit there and like um like i'm sure for fish he suffers from this quite often because he just gets really bad luck. I mean, I feel like everyone does, and I feel like some people just feel like theirs is worse. Yeah, that's true. Because, like, Fish will complain about his luck, but I definitely know other scenarios where other people have just as bad luck, if not worse. Yeah. And, and... Cool. Okay. Um, oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, hey, look. See, look. Uh, yeah, these are here. Oh, why? Well, what, what do they do? I don't know. Also, there's a, there's a balcony on the left that you can jump to. Uh, over here? Yeah. Oh, I don't even have to jump. I just walk over. Oh, oh, oh. Well, look at that. Oh, oh, yeah. And there's no reason to do that. Jump across. Is this taking me somewhere? Yeah, right over there, across the way. See, look right in front of you. Boom, there's a thing directly ahead of you. Yeah! Oh god. Shotgun! Yeah! The best part, too, about those little guys is like, they. I don't know if they do it on purpose, but like when you destroy them, they give you enough magic back to like compensate for the magic you expend. Right, yeah. So. Unfortunately, I don't know. If or what magic is supposed to be used on these lightning guys. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think anything is particularly useful. Uh, try a blizzard. Nope. No. I mean, it kills them. Yeah, it kills them. Oh, there's still one more behind you. Also, isn't there like an exceptionally large version of it? One of those You dudes? know, I want to say there are. Like, there's just like the mega... Yeah. Mega, mega dude. Yeah, I want to say there's like a big version of them. <gasps> Third oh. district. Where does this go? Oh. Oh, God. That This is the most dangerous thing about Sora's fighting style. Yeah, because he's, like, jumping all over the place. Yeah, like, he just, like, uppercuts everything, and then, like... there was a treasure chest down here, but I don't remember where exactly it is. It's like I think right it's, here. like... It's, like, right here. Nope. Not seeing anything. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't want to risk jumping down. Yeah, but uh, Sora's like his fighting style is just so jumpy, and so yeah. like sometimes you just want to be like, you know what? I'm just gonna shoulder it, and I'm gonna just like shotgun blast the crap out of everything. 
because if you make the dumb mistake of like accidentally chain attacking a bunch right, of like, yeah. flyers, you're just gonna fall off the edge, and then you're gonna be angry at yourself. There's a thing there. Yeah, like what am I attacking over here? I don't know if you're actually attacking anything or if it's like there's something there that you need to actually interact with. Oh. After you've killed off everything. What a little jerk. Ooh, stun impact! Damn it. Oh, postcard! Oh, Yay! What stun impact? Has a third chance, chance of unleashing a finishing combo attack that renders surrounding enemies unconscious. Uh, get rid of that guard. Goodbye, guard. Bye 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 We're not leaving. No. Oh. Donald! God, Donald. Why? Donald! What? What's the matter with him? He's unconscious again. All right. Thinking house. Oh. <gasps> Hello, okay. ladies. <laughs> okay. It's a little dusty in here. All right, fine. I'll light a light. Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, like... this is why you have to like do that, because then you like. Fire! Go. Nope. Oh well, apparently you locked onto the wrong person. Probably locking onto them. Yeah, so you probably need to like. I don't know how you would like that. I'll be honest. Um, I Man, I gotta do something in here. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Maybe that was just me talk wanting to talk to her. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> just saw her wanting to talk to her. Hey, hey, hey you. Oh, how, I wonder. You? Do I need the thunder for this? Like, do I have you to go don't... light the? <gasps> you need thunder to 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 zap the the yeah. the, the, the oh, wait the two the electrical tube out there. Yeah, actually, hold on. I don't think I actually need thunder. What do you need? I think I need to lure one of the bad guys over to it. Oh! The, 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 the lightning dude. Yeah, I think you have to lure one of the lightning dudes over to it and then have it zap you? Have it zap it. Ah, I think that's what I have to do. Very clever, Steve. But I could be wrong, so let's let's go over there and find out. Yeah, well, worst thing that happens is you fail. But you're used to that. Does one ever really get used to failure? I mean, I fail a lot, but I don't know if I ever get used to it. I do. I've gotten used to failing. Fa fa failing. Failuring. Fa just every time, man. I just think about all the people I just let down. Eh, I don't think about the people I let down. Nope. You're the fire guys. I don't want the fire. I don't want the fire. You're too bad. You're bad You're for business. You're fired. You're fired. Oh my god. I want to watch a show called The Abuentes. <laughs> <laughs> I Whoa, do. you're fired. Whoa. Wait, that was the stun. Look at them all. That was They're amazing. Oh Look my god. Look at him. That's oh, so good. Stun impact. FTW. Well, unfortunately, that is not what we need. I don't think fire will do it. No, it definitely won't. It's it's very very definite uh, that I need electric. You need one of those lightning dudes, and I yeah. think that's very much the reason why they don't do that. Mm. Like they don't, they didn't spawn any. Maybe. You know what's the I worst part too before. is I bet you you have like a Thundara spirit in there. And so you could literally just be like, eh, and literally cause what you need to happen. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe. Oh, that's so good. Unfortunately, this guy was out of it. Yeah, but he also just takes like one fireball and he's done. Yeah. Unlike these douches. These best douches. I do not like these guys. Yeah, but they're taking a little bit. Like I'm killing them a little faster now. Oh no, they're they're nothing in comparison. But I just don't like flyers because like I hate that idea of like having to jump and juggle their attacks. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just that like extra bit of nonsense that I don't like. So maybe maybe that's just me though. Right. Maybe this is one of the ones we look up. Mm. Let's look it up. Cause I'm not sure if it is something that we're supposed to come back and do. Like, that feels like we're supposed to. Like, I don't remember if there's a wind ability or not in this game. 
a wind spell. Maybe the book doesn't go there. Maybe the book goes to Merlin. And then Merlin teaches me lightning. Because I do feel like there's yes, some, something. Yes, the book needs is to be, Merlin's. Yeah, I do feel like something needs to happen with Merlin. Okay. All right. Yeah. So maybe we take the book to Merlin. Um. And then uh, we recommend you do the book later on in the game, as now you will only be offered a tutorial-like chapter since all the pages are turned. Oh, well, it's too late now. Well. Yep. Oh, I think I know what this book is. Oh, this is the Ansem Report. No, what I is don't it? think it is. I think it's the Winnie the Pooh book. <gasps> it is. Jesus, look at those eyes. Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm broken into your soul. I'm Grandma Nurgle. <laughs> no, she's not Grandma Nurgle. Mm. You've been turned into a summon gem. Little creature lived in a world and worlds vanished, and so do its inhabitants. But one with such a strong heart, he became. Look, it just turned into a giant black hole and crushed everything, and now he's full of magic. Yeah. Simba. You summon Simba. You Simba, you need three party members in battle. Each summon swift only use once per battle. Each summon battle. Okay, yeah, let's summon characters. Blah, 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 blah. So basically, yeah. you enter into a fight. You summon something, and then you just go. Don't worry. I, I, I'll do it, Grandma. Uh, 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 no, no, no. Just just teach me Thundara, please. Let me see if this is indeed what I think it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, this was the most depressing part of the game. Mm-hmm. We need to, like, interact with Pooh, <clears throat> and he's like, I don't know where any of my friends are. They're all gone. You're just like, oh my god, Pooh, I just want to hug you. Yep. Oh, bother. Where'd Piglet go? Piglet dung got eaten by Pongo. Sorry, Pooh Bear. No, you need to leave this. We need to get out of here. Yeah, we'll come back and do this later. We'll... we'll Let's see if we can get, like, all the pages, and then we can do, like, one episode of just all the poo stuff. Yeah, that sounds about right. I like it, that. Like, it, it feels like it'd be kind of not feels great. Yeah, it's disadvantageous to kind of, like, break it all up like that. Uh, so, we're going to want to save the game. Okay. And then we're going to want to go to Sid. Okay. Because he gives us our warp gummy now. Oh, finally. Okay. Because we did this little... Yeah. See, Merlin's all like, you should go talk to Sid. I know that I'm a powerful sorcerer who has the ability to travel through time and literally fucking shrink and warp space itself. So I wish, I wish you could the the ones that you could use to teleport to your gummy ship. I wish you could use them to teleport, teleport around town. That's what I was about to make a point of. Like, like at least to the other ones uh, like that. You know. Yeah. Like literally, Merlin, you could have teleported me to Sid. You could yeah. be like, do you want to go to Sid's now? And you're like, hell yes. So I'm pretty sure I could theoretically leave the world, like jump back to my gummy ship, and then jump back down. Oh, something's happening. Yeah, and it would have been faster oh. than <gasps> walk. <Game>. Yay! <gasps> there you are. It's Riku! What's going on? It's Rox, I mean, Riku! Riku! Is what? This <laughs> what the hell? Hey, cut it out. I'm not dreaming this time. Wow. Right? I'm not dreaming this time, am I? Yeah, let me just... Forever to find you. Hey, look at your... Oh, you're Riku. so beautiful. Now. Riku! Let's just share an awkward Doesn't moment where we stare into each other's eyes, please. Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island, too. We're finally free. Hey, she might even be looking uh -oh. for us now. Look out! We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. In darkness. Just leave everything to me. I know this. Now. <laughs> Look at that! Look on his it's face. Who? Sora, uh, what did you? Oh, I just I've killed been it. Looking for you and Kyrie too, with their help. Thanks, cameraman. Who are they? 
It's the dog. We visited so many places and worlds looking for you. Really? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. Oh, and guess what? Sora is the Keyblade Master. Uh oh. Don't tell him that. What's Shit's that going mean? down. So this is called a Keyblade. Oh. Just jacked it from him. Hey, give it back. Huh. I like it. I think I'll keep it. Whoa. Make my own. Seriously. Okay. Right there, he could have just won the game. He yeah. could have just ended the game for everybody. Awesome rocket! Wait till you see it. No, he can't come. What? Forget us. Oh come on! Isn't he He's working for the friend. enemy right now? Yes, but they don't know that yet. Yeah. He could have literally just won for the enemy Riku? side right there. Yeah. But I don't know if if Riku is like that nice far going. corrupted yet. Like if he's if he's oh, well. privy to their every bit of information, okay. right? Like I don't know if he knows yet that he's supposed to hunt the keyblade. Maybe we're on that might be true. Too. Yeah, because that just feels like really weird. Then again, it's also like you're his best friend, so I don't think he wants to like screw you over. Yeah. So. All right. Let's get our navy gummy. Let's do this. Greetings, Elsie. You're not Seed. You're not Seed. He lives in the third district. Welcome. Where in the third district does he live? Yeah, dude. I was just there. <sighs> you know what? He probably lives in the vacant house. I mean, that's like literally the only other place in the third district. Mm. But Yuffie and what's her face are in there right now? Eris. You mean or Arieth? Arieth. Come on, it's her true name because this game is Japanese. <laughs> you can't know her true name. One must never know a demon's true name. <laughs> She's a demon. She is. Yeah. Really? Oh, oh. All the lights oh, are okay. on now? Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh, yeah. This will be our secret base. It's nice and snug in here. Yeah. We should get nice and snug. Oh, that's called Gami Navigation? I mean, I knew that. I guess I could have told you. You guys ever hear of Maleficent? I hear I she's in town. Who is she? A, a witch. witch man. She's a witch. Oh, me, I walk out. Oh, no. Don't take her lightly. Yeah, take her heavily. She's been using Heartless for the years. The last our world takes to her. Oh, shit. One day, it's woman Heartless took over our world! That was nine years ago. I got out of that mess and came here with these guys. It's, if you really think about it, right, like, the whole, uh -huh. I know we've mentioned this before, the, but the whole premise of, like, all the worlds are, like, imagine if our world was interconnected to other worlds that we didn't even know about, like, other universes. The or, multiverse um, theory? Yeah, like, the multiverse theory. And slowly but surely, like, this force was just consuming universes. So you mean like Owl Man when he was destroying the other worlds to get to the center to get to the main universe yeah. in order to destroy it and Batman's just like I'll just kill you. Yeah. You know I will. Is poisoned in your heart is We don't know. It got scattered when our world was destroyed. I'm so many has all your babies. Just as I told you. Oh. While you toiled away trying to find your dear friend, he quite simply replaced you with some new companions. I like that nobody notices Maleficent Everything. just standing out there. Now Seriously, they're just like, we gotta get Maleficent, she's the key to this, all this evil, and it's just like, well, without that wretched boy. God, she has no pupils. No Look, she's a dragon! I'll help you find what you're searching for. Yeah. I guess she has the right size pupils, but it's the, um... The sclera? Sclera, yeah. Yeah, though, the stuff around the pupil itself? Or are you talking about, like, the cornea? The, like, brown part around your pupil in the center? The cornea, yeah. Yeah. Because her sclera is the what the, should the, normally be the white part of your yeah, eyes. Yeah, but it's, it's yellow for her. Yeah, or green. Ooh, a warp gummy! Yay! Thank you! Thank you! Cool. All right, cool. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did you talking about the second? Hey, you 
Hey, you wait here, about it. Oh, it's all boarded up. Nobody can get in it's there. It's already uh, open. We literally were in there. Heck, get check out. Ring three times. Oh, oh we got to do it a, two more times. Two more. That's a lot of times. That's like more than one. All right, let's go do the bell. Let's do the bell. Oh, my God. I like bells. Bells are my friend. Oh Bell will be in our God. next world, because then we'll go to the Beauty and the Beast. I don't think Beauty and the Beast is next. I'm pretty sure it's like Nightmare Before Christmas. Ugh, Nightmare Before Christmas. That show. There it was. So look, to your right. Yeah. Yeah, there's the chest, and you have to drop down from the top of Gizmo's Tower and land there. Yes. Alright, so we just have to do that, what, two, three times? What even is this? Uh, you know what it is? It's like the ocean? No, it's huh. uh, it's a hint at Coco. Yes. It's Dios de los Muertos in there, right? Right? I mean, right. I don't even think Coco was even right. in. Alright, well. Was, was he even in, like, production? I don't think anyone... So when did this game come out? I'm curious as to like what realistic uh, This came out in like ninety nine? No, really? That long ago? Ninety nine. Oof. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bet it was in um like two thousand early. I, I yeah, feel it's gotta be Okay, yeah, it was like it's gotta be early two thousands. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? No, no, no. Don't worry about it. What? Don't worry about it. No, what? It's fine. What's fine, Tom? It's... Tomas? Fine. What is fine? It's... Fine. Okay. Just don't worry about it. And now I'm concerned. The more you say not to worry about something, the uh -huh. more concerning it is. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I know. That's why I do it. Why are you... Why are you an asshole? Because, Steve... You too. Well, I didn't need to know that, but thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Steve. You're welcome. You're welcome, my friend. You know what's my big... <laughs> okay. Oh, Donald's down. So, this is what bothers me about games. Like, This is my biggest problem with Final Fantasy games. Huh. There's always enemies everywhere you go. Yeah. And the only reason I can think that there's constant enemies like this is just the grind. Um. Like, it's that, like, you fight to grind, to level up, to get stronger, to have money, to have resources, like, that kind of thing. Right. And it just feels like a time sink for me. Like, While I'm sure the grind is a factor, I don't think it's the primary reason. Because, like, for someone like me, it's like, okay, I like the combat. I like just smashing these enemies. and Especially considering, like, you know, this game I don't think does a great job of it, or at least doesn't do a great job of it yet. But, like, you know, in some games like this, you get enemies that are actually really interesting to fight, you know. And this one does, like, a kind of interesting job of, like, all right, let's pit kind of a weird combination of enemies to make combat a little bit more difficult for you. Like, one of these big fatty guys with a little fly guy is, like, hey, well, that's... It's a combination now that is difficult to deal with. Yeah, and, and sure, like, exposing the combat and everything like that. But, like, for me, I'm, like... I'm the type of player who likes to find the most efficient and fastest route possible to complete a project. Sure. And and that, that uh, that's obviously not the same for you, and that's not the same for everybody else, which is perfectly fine to me. Like, it, it is fine that other people want to do this their way, mm -hmm. and I want to do it my way, which is why I really like Chrono Trigger, where it's just like you fight and you move through things. That was two. And then one more time. Theoretically, this is the last one? Yes, in theory. Alright, hopefully it does something to... Oh, hey! Yep. There we go. Whatever this means. Yeah. There's... Oh, it's that's the keyhole! That's what it is. 
And this seals us off from having more Heartless in this area. Mm. But yeah, like, uh, to me, I'm, I'm very much a big, like, I want to play super streamlined, as efficient as possible, which also includes, like, avoiding certain fights. Sure. And oh. so... Oh, hello! I like how it was like a half like Final Fantasy music thing. Get him, Simba! I mostly just want to see it. Meow! Oh, It's the Matthew Broderick Simba. I was Heartless. like... What? I don't know what Charge Up does. Uh, apparently, it just uses them all at once, and it doesn't look like it did much. Uh, I was hoping it was like the the JTT Simba. Yeah. Oh, geez, oh okay. Never right? mind. Charge up apparently rocked his world. No, I don't think he's done. Our, I don't think he's done. I think this is like a similar to the chameleon boss, where it's like, oh, you thought it was gonna be easy. You now he's only, gonna do something new. You've only seen my first yeah. form. Whoa, look out! Now watch as I transform and put my head up my oh. ass! Whoa! Now my feet are my hands and my hands are my feet! Oh my god, you know what he looks like right now? Like a Gundam or something? No, he looks like fucking Buggy from One Piece. You remember the clown who could, like, turn his body into, like, he could detach all his body parts? Oh, and he yeah. he floats in the air, and he's all like, ah ha ha I got this cool ability! Now I'm gonna punch and kick you from, like, 30 different angles! Woohoo! you're just like, what the hell? That's what he reminds me of right now. He's freaking buggy, because he's, like, all like, I'm flying around in my different body parts! Then again, this game is so old that maybe that's where they got the idea for it. Maybe. I mean, like, all that is kind of tropey. Oh, of course it is. Like, so. it's just like, you know what One Piece reminds me of more than anything? Uh. It, it's like, if you went into the office, and you're like, like all the right. Like, show the office, or? No, 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 like, no. Like, like, you go to work, and you're like, all right, Steve. Well, I'm getting, like, tons of tech from this guy. Fucking good. But like, okay, so I walk into the office and I'm like, all right, Steve, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? Mm, flight? It's like, all right, we're going to give a person the power of flight. How would you use and break that ability? Uh, well, I would use it. Oh, shit, he's got a cannon belly. Ow. Yeah, it didn't do that much damage, though. You okay, never mind. I lied. Okay, can you can you stop? I think you have to like step back and like bang it at him. Step back from that ledge, my friend. I mean, he's just he is just wailing on Donald now. Yeah, but it's Donald, so whatever. No, Donald. Acceptable losses. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, acceptable losses. You got injured. I mean, Donald. <laughs> Donald. No. Acceptable losses. Oh no. Meat shield. Go make sure he's okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, like, that's what I... Oh, <laughs> Meat Shield, no! Meat Shield, no! You're useful! Uh, but that that's really what it feels like to me when it comes to, like, One Piece. It's just like, how, well, superpower do you have? It's like, flight. It's like, all right, cool. So how would we break that power? Well, we'd have him, like, grab somebody and then, like, okay, bring like a... them super high up into the atmosphere and then just leave them up there so that way they can breathe. Cause like it also depends on like how the power of flight works. Right. Yeah. And it's like, oh well, then you travel at like supersonic speed and you just like fly by and punch a dude in the face, or you grab an object and you bring it really high up and then you just th drop it on top of them. Like that's what One Piece feels like to me. Yeah. It's just like how can we break everything? And then there's also things where it's like, oh, he has the the, the rubber rubber fruit. What does rubber be used for? What does rubber be used for? <laughs> what is rubber be used for? <laughs> it's like, well, like, there's rubber balloons. Oh, so then he has the power of all kinds of balloons. And he's super stretchy. And it's like, okay, well, these are cool and they're super broken, but, like, 
how do we balance this out? And it's like, uh, they can't swim. And they're all pirates. So they're always out in the ocean. Excellent. Brilliant. Brilliant. We've just made the world's most, uh, I don't know. I, I, I was going to say the longest running anime, like, ever. But I don't think that's true. I think actually Loop on the Third is now the longest Probably. running anime. Because that thing is oldest. You know what's funny? Oldest. If I remember correctly, Loop on the Third was like created when Hitler was still in power. I don't know. I'm gonna do some fact checking again. Jesus. Yay, we did it. We all leveled up and got strong. Yeah, get wrecked. Uh, the creator uh -huh. of Lupin the Third nope. is a dude who goes by the moniker of Monkey Punch. Excellent. Ooh, we obtained the power of wind. <gasps> we learned oh, Aereo. Arrow. Is it Arrow or Aereo? I always thought it was Arrow. Arrow. Like Air. Oh. Yeah. But uh, Aereo is also Air. Right? Okay, uh, I think I might have been wrong. Yay, we did it! We locked the world! Good job, Cam. Okay, Tim. so... Uh, Lupin the Third... I want to say this is originally... Originally it came out in 1967 when Hitler died in 1948. 40 XDX. 45. 1945. So it was like it was like 20 years after that. Oh. So. What's up, Sid? I was very much wrong. Hey, now that was quick. I mean, you just battled a giant monster and I'm locked in the this gummy world. block business. Working on your gummy ship was good. I'll give you a big <laughs> discount. Ooh, Comet G. That thing is real good, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. Please, install. Another one of those blocks that comes in set. Oh. 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 Can we go to the synthesis shop now? I don't know. It's probably still closed. Nope. Yeah. It's still closed. All right. Still closed. All right. I think, I think that's well, good. We've, we've pretty much finished up this world. Yep. I think we're good here. But look at that. Perfect timing, man. Excellent. So, in the next episode, we will be back with more Kingdom Hearts. Bye. Boy!